Hello there. This is the family doctor. Down. Oh, Griff. Oh, hello there, Dr. Adams. Where are you going to that big sack? It looks heavy. Uh, uh, it is not heavy. Uh, what's in it, if I'm not too inquisitive? Uh, nails. Ten penny finish nails. Oh, building something up at the lake? No, uh, no. No, uh, uh, building something down here in town. Oh? Uh, uh, new fella come to town. Building a house for herself and the missus over on Elm Street. I'm uh, helping him. Oh, well, sir. That's so. Uh, uh, well, I hadn't noticed it. That won't be much out of my way, Griff. Uh, hop in. I'll give you a lift. Well, thank you, Doc. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> as young as you speak. Oh? And what's this newcomer's name, Griff? Uh, Stanley told me it was. Yep, uh, Joe Stanley. Hey, Doc. Huh? Oh, hello, Pete. Drop into the drugstore later. Want to talk to you. All right, Pete, I will. Uh, nice fellow, Pete, May. Sure is. Oh, uh, that's the house there, is it? Yeah, uh, that's her. Take much, but adequate, Joe says. Well, thank you again, Doc. Thanks, heaps. Oh, uh, here's Joe now. I'll knock you down to each other. Well, you got the name all right, uh, Griff? Uh, yeah, yeah, got them. Thanks to Doc Adams here. Uh, Doc, this is Joe Stanley, the fellow I was telling you about. Well, how do you right. do? Well, you... Uh, nice little house you're going to have here, Mr. Stanley. Oh, it ain't much, but it's adequate. Mm, yes. Well, I'll take these here nails over, ten penny finish, and uh, get busy again. All right, Griff. Be right with you. See, uh, <clears throat> Doctor, I've been going to come down to your office to talk to you. Of course, I ain't had much time since I started this house, you oh, see. Oh, I suppose not. But you know, uh, you know, the missus, that's my wife, she's been complaining of a sort of misery in her head of late. Is that so? Yes. Too bad. Well, uh, have her come down. Oh, I've been a-trying to, but, well, you know how the women folks is. They, they just sort of put those things off. Says she'll get over it. But she don't seem to. Well, I'll be glad to drop over to your house any time you say. Oh, would you do that, Doc? Why, of course. That's my business. Well, now, that would be mighty kind of you. Well, where do you live? Well, we're just staying out in a little old rented house for a spell till I get this place finished. It's out at uh, 1904 7th Avenue. All right, I'll drop out about uh, 8 o'clock tonight. Fine. Joe, I hmm? brought you lunch. Oh, howdy, Sal. Thanks. Don't say nothing to the missus about what we was talking about, will you, Doc? Why, of course not. I'll bet you're hungry, Joe, and I've fixed an awful nice lunch for you. Uh, uh, Doc Adams, uh, this is my wife, Mrs. Stanley. Great little woman. Can't live without her, so got to live with her. <laughs> oh, Joe, how you go on? Uh, how to do, Doc Adams? I've heard so much about you. Well, that's nice. <laughs> well, uh, Doc, uh, now you'll drop around and see us sometime, huh? All right, I will, yes. Yes. Uh, where'd you put those nails? Oh, never mind. Looks like a mighty nice home you're going to have here, Mrs. Stanley. Oh, yes. We both look forward to it so much. Just seems like we've scrimped and saved all our lives for this. Of course, we won't be able to retire exactly. We still got to go on work and earn a living. But it'll be much easier on Joe than a farm was. Yes, I should say. 
Uh, what's he going to do? He's going to start a gasoline station. Oh, he's been a studying up on it for a long time, and he's just sure he's going to do fine at it. Gasoline station, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sure he is, too. Um, Dr. Adams, I've been going to come and see you ever since last week. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, Joe stepped on a nail. And, of course, I've done the best I could, but it don't seem to be no better at all. A nail? Mm. Well, sometimes those things can be pretty dangerous. Yes, that's what I told Joe. But he just won't do nothing about it. Says the nail won't rusty, and it won't hurt him a mite. Uh-huh. And he won't come down to the office, eh? No, he won't. Well, suppose I drop around to your house. Oh, would you do that, Doctor? Why, certainly. That's my business. Oh, that'll be lovely if you will, but uh, don't say nothing to Joe, will you? Um, just try to make it look like a sort of social call. Oh, sure, I understand. The address is 1904 7th Avenue. All right, Mrs. Stanley. I'll drop around this evening, say, about 8 o'clock. Oh, thank you, Doctor. That'll be just fine. All right, then. Goodbye until then. Doc, did you say you wanted to see me? Sorry I couldn't get around sooner. Just finished dinner. Oh, hello, Chick. Uh, oh, Dr. Adams. Doc. Say, uh, you knew about this new fellow that's building a house over to Elm Street? Uh-huh. What about him? Say, do you know what business he's going into? Yes. Why, he's... Oh, you know, huh? Yeah. He's going to start a new gas station. Yes. Doc, I don't think it's right. What? Why not? Well, we've got enough gas stations here now. Oh, Pete. Gosh, to Friday, what difference does it make to you? I've met him. Joe Stanley's his name. And his wife seems to be a right smart little woman. Nice people for seated into welcome, I'd say. Well, they may be all right as people, but I still don't like the idea of him starting another gas station. You sound pretty serious about it, Pete. I am. Us merchants have got to stick together. But, well, I, I guess there's no way to stop him. <laughs> no. Lucky for him there isn't, I guess. Well, I guess I'll be running along. I've got another call to make. Yes. Guess there won't be much need of staying open much longer. Uh, Chick, you might as well ride along with the doc, if he don't mind. No, of course not. Come along, Chick. All right, thanks. Good night, Mr. May. Good night, good night. Good night. Hop in. Well, gee, Dr. Adams, you you look kind of mad. Well, mad? Well, no, but... But Pete shouldn't say things like that. He shouldn't even think them. Thoughts like that don't do anybody any good, least of all the people who think them. Oh, good evening, Doctor. Good evening, Mrs. Stanley. Well, here I am. Oh, Doctor, I'm so glad you've come. Hmm? Joe's worse, much worse. I've been trying to take care of him the best I could. Oh, where is he? In here, in the bedroom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's the trouble, Joe? Doc, I've got an awful misery. Yeah, let me see. Mm-hmm. Doctor. Excuse me, Mrs. Stanley, I've got to get to work. Jake. Yes, sir? Hey, come here. Yes, sir. There. Take that note to Pete. And tell him to rush right back here with the serum it calls for. And and you come right back, too, Chick. I, I may need some help. Yes, sir. And, Chick, if you value a human life, take my car and drive as you've never driven before. <laughs> To do. Is Doc Adams here? Right here, Pete. Did you... Uh, oh, yes, yes, thanks. You made pretty good time. Now, come on in with me. Uh, you too, Chick. I'll probably need your help. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Here you are, Joe. Now, we'll mm. have to... We'll have you fixed up here. A little iodine over this spot here. Uh, there we are. Now. Mm. Doc. Doc. Yes, Joe? 
Now, you try to be as quiet as you can. No. No, it, it ain't no use, Doc. I can feel it. It ain't no use. Sal. Yes, Joe. I'm right here. Sal, you... You see that Griff finishes up the new house. There'll be plenty of money for that. I want you to have it. So you can... You can... He... He's just asleep, ain't he, Doctor? Yes, Mrs. Stanley. He's asleep. Oh, you mean... No! No! Oh, Joe! Come along, Pete. Chick. Pete, you stay here. Wait out in the living room here. Sure thing, Doc. Was... Was that what it was, Doc? Yes. Tetanus. Horrible thing. And he just stepped on a nail. Well, you come with me, Chick. I, I want you to get Mrs. Adams and bring her out here while I get Mrs. Maynard. All right. <laughs> here, here, Chick. You mustn't do that now. Uh, I'm sorry, Dr. Adams. I, uh, I've just never seen a man die before. Mm, yes. Uh, well, Chick, it has to come to every man. I hope I can meet it with as much courage as Joe Stanley did. Doc? Oh, I didn't hear you come out, Pete. Doc? Uh, Chick? I just, uh... Well, I hope you won't say nothing to nobody about what I said this evening. Uh, about Joe Stanley and his gas station. Oh, of course we won't, Pete. That's the past. The past. Yes, that's right. And, Doc... There won't never be anything like it in the future. I don't think there will, Pete. And that little lady in there's going to have that new house if it's the last thing I do. Good. I just hope that... Well, that what little I can do for her now will sort of make up for what I said and thought about that there gas station. <laughs> the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.